and we need to produce as much food in the next 30 years as we did in the last 10,000. As our population goes from where it is now to about maybe 10 billion, so how do we feed all the people on the planet with fewer resources, less water, and we're still going to produce more waste? So how can we kind of combine those three things in a space like this to learn more and develop you know, more sustainable products? We're in Bermondsey, South East London, home to Tower Bridge, HMS Belfast and Green Lab, a agri-tech incubator that allows startups to design sustainable resource systems using high-end technologies. Andy, could you explain why Green Lab started and what, what happens here? Well, we go from, from kind of heavy engineering challenges, looking to rear insects for automation, to generate food for the aquaculture sector like salmon right down to taking waste food from say avocados and banana skins to create a textile dye and everything in between. So Kieran, can you explain the work that you're doing here at Green Lab? Yeah, so in Green Lab we've taken over the old industrial kitchen of the school um, and we've converted it into what we believe is the world's first fully automated insect protein factory. We can use almost any waste streams as an input source and in less than a week the insects turn from approximately a grain of sand into about an inch long protein bar, uh, which we process into a protein flour and feed to animals. So you're just closing the food loop by copying how nature does it. We can go to breweries, we can go to fruit packing houses, we can go eventually to restaurants and actually recycle waste on site. Cool. So hopefully the future and the future is now. <laughs> cool. Conceptually, there is no waste in nature. It's just nutrients. And yet we managed to probably destroy a third of the food we produce on this planet. All food can be used no matter what form it's in. We work with kids from the ages of 9 to 16 exploring where your food comes from, how to grow your own food, how to grow it and automate it. You know, we work with adults to, to open their eyes to the world of technology. Mm. You know, artificial intelligence, machine learning and drones can apply to agriculture. It's not just the cow, pig, sheep and wheat. You know, this isn't going to feed a lot of people. It's more about conveying the concept of you can grow things in pebbles. You don't need soil. Again, these have been grown in purely artificial environment with super cheap lights. I don't think this lab's going to come up with right now with a solution to world hunger. That's not going to happen. But what we can do is we can make people more aware of one, how the city operates, where things go. If we can, out of the 100 kids that come through here, if one of them becomes an urban farmer and develops a new product that produces you know, more strawberries per pound with less water, that's even better. Um, and that you, you create a single idea and then you let it loose. Yep. If, I can, if we could replicate this in different cities, fantastic. Yeah. But I don't know what the future holds. So. <laughs>